Two Dumb Guys, with your hosts, Heath B. and Barry P. I'm the B and you're the P. Facing tough topics. So cheese first and chips, or chips and cheese? With no solutions. I don't know. And no qualifications. School. Welcome to Dumb Guys Talk About Smart Stuff. Now, now say the Project Blue Book type numbers, like they cataloged thousands of sightings, mm-hmm. and I believe that there's about 700 that they left unexplained. Mm-hmm. But there's a huge amount. It's so like I've heard, number. yeah. I've well, what's a big number, and when did they stop counting? When was Project Blue Book? You know, I'm a dumb guy, so my research isn't that good. I, I think it was like the 50s. Is when yeah, and then there wasn't like a petition to reopen it like in 89. Um, yeah. There, something like that. Um, but yeah, so thousands of cases, and I've heard explanations of things like when they tested, uh, you know, when they test um, jets over the deserts, like they're they're silver colored, they're not painted yet, and they'll they'll test a jet, they'll have shoot by, and then they might have something like 170 people calling in saying there's a UFO. Mm-hmm. So that's why there might be really ballooned up numbers of thousands and thousands yeah. of sightings. Right. Um, but there's <clears throat> about 700 left that the government left as unexplained. Unexplainable. A swamp gas. Yeah, swamp gas. <laughs> swamp gas, the balloons floating around with scotch tape on it. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, um, <laughs> say UFOs, does that, do you guys, when you think of something in the sky unexplained, do you think it's always aliens? Do you think it's a lot of times it's something else? No. <clears throat> so, I don't think it's aliens all the time, no. Yeah. Well, I take, I mean, for instance, you, you say that there's been hundreds, there's actually been thousands of sightings out there. Do I think all of them are UFOs? No. I think people made mistakes, yes. Yeah. I think people probably, they probably said, I see something, I don't know what it is, I'm going to report it, but it, it will turn out to be something else. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've, I've sat there actually in my driveway before, look up, I'd see something, I'd be, well, oh, what's that, a plane? No, wait, that's doing something weird. It's flying in a weird direction, and I'd, I'll sit there and watch it and stare at it, and then finally I'll go, oh, okay, it's a balloon. It's one of those Mylar balloons. Mm-hmm. I'll go, okay, spotted. Figured yeah. it out. You could join the Air Force. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? I could. It's <clears throat> um, <clears throat> But what about things like the Phoenix Lights? Oh, yeah. Seriously. That's, that's a pretty substantial situation that took place over a long distance. Huge where, populated area. Huge populated area where people saw this thing flying directly overhead. It was um, it was stated on several occasions, different people who were like 45 minutes apart or whatever, you know, 45 miles apart, where it flew over their heads. They all said it was huge, you know, beyond and silent. So, you know, unexplainable from what we know of, of aircrafts today. <clears throat> now, was it a secret, top secret, you know? Flight? Test yeah, flight? Yeah. Maybe. Something. Well, well, that was mainly lights at night that people saw, right, in that case? Mm-mm. No, it started in the daytime. Okay. And I believe it went into the night. So um, yeah. it started over Las Vegas, I believe, and flew all the way through southern Arizona. Yeah, there was a trail, I think. And again, there was a, there was a lot of sightings, a lot of close-up views of this thing. People have drawn pictures of it. Like, it was very... Um, and, and there's, so there's, there's two different scenarios that happened on the same night. <clears throat> there was the, the craft that people saw, and then there were the lights later on that people claimed to be the military flares. Uh-huh. So there were yeah. two actual things together mm-hmm. in that scenario. Okay. Uh, now, one question I always have is, say, like the nature of these sightings. Say they're kind of uh, obscure, on the fringe... They're not, say, like somebody landing on the lawn of the White House Mm -hmm. and greeting our president. Yeah. Um, So, say, if we flipped it and we developed flying to another planet and we found life that's maybe at our level of development, like they're not quite flying in space yet, do you think we'd land there and and take over as their overlords? Do you think we would uh, want to go to their leader? Do you think we'd denounce ourselves to this? Or do you think we would do this land in Farmer's Field and create cop circles or whatever? Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Who's doing it? The USA, or is the world coming together saying this is what we're doing? Well, I'd say the most likely scenario is say, you know NASA or something develops this. Oh, then we'll fucking kill them. Yeah, yeah. we're we're dumb. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> and I hate to say that, but it's true. Like yeah. we would go in, we just go in blind. So what you're saying, probably... Phil? 
But you're saying if the U.S. government or the world government decided to go to another planet, we would go in and destroy that civilization. Yeah. Look so, at ours. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Now, my point to you, though. The, the, yeah, the point to me is, like, why aren't the aliens doing this? Why don't they land and, and talk to Obama? Well, my yeah. question, my, or my point, yeah. I hear you. I or hear my you. retort to that is, you know, we as humans go off to the rainforest. Mm -hmm. We don't go in there, track down the leader of the ant colony, and say, hey, we are here to take this wood and we need resources. Mm -hmm. We don't do that because they are a... A species below us, and I guess the question is: Is do the, do the aliens think highly enough of human beings to even think they need to go talk to our president? What is our president? But you know, you know, the queen bee of of the of the beehive. Potentially, I mean, if aliens are truly that high of a form of species, um, or say, for example, we're right, we've gone to space ourselves. You know, we've gone and landed on the moon. We we have space station up there. Yeah. Um, would we necessarily be that low to where we're like ants that they could potentially step on? Well, I think if you if you really think about it, if uh, if a species I think has this could lead to a huge conversation, it definitely. <laughs> I, I think if an alien species has evolved over the millions of years um, <clears throat> to the point where they're traveling the universe, you know, maybe going through wormholes or go, traveling at the speed of light, they they've reached this level of of evolution that yeah maybe they are maybe they're traveling on a non-physical and more tele telepathic or whatever nature you know metaphysical kind of mm -hmm. thing so yeah maybe maybe we we uh we are that ant potentially all right that's a good explanation